everyone, I am Ellie Jo and today we are going to be unboxing my first pair of Van slip-on shoes. Yes, that's right. I have never had a pair of Van slip-ons. I have had a pair of Van like tie-up shoes, but I've never had the slip-on kind. I definitely thought about getting a pair of like the checkered ones when they were like super popular, but then I just really thought about it and I was like, no, I don't want to be basic. So I never ended up getting them. But now they are kind of coming back in style. I mean, they've, they've really always been in style, but just the plain black ones with like the little white on the bottom, these, they're coming back in style a little bit and I see a lot of people wearing them. I think they're super cute and they go with a bunch of different outfits, plus they're just like a good basic shoe. So I got some. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I actually have worn these, but just around my house and in the backyard, my friends came over and I wanted to show them my shoes and then I ended up just wearing them all around the house and in the backyard. So they are a little scuffed up. They do have a few little marks on them. So technically it's not like a true unboxing, but I still haven't like worn them out in public if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into unboxing them. I mean there's not really much to unbox because we just bought these at a store but still. Okay. Ah! They're beautiful. Yeah they're definitely a little bit dirty. Okay so just drop the box that's fine but here they are i got them in a size seven and a half men's but like they don't even have men and women sizes in vans it's just unisex but still like on the box it says seven and a half in men's so i don't really know what that correlates to the women sizes i actually tried buying these off of pack sun and i found them in the women's section and somehow i ended up ordering men's even though i found these shoes in the women's section normally i just would have bought them off the van's website but i had a pakistan gift card so i was like why not get 20 dollars off these shoes anyways let's just get into the actual shoes oh my rings literally latched together how did that even what in the heck Oh, there we go. I finally got it. Anyways, so this is what the shoe looks like. Obviously, don't mind the scuffs and the dirt on them. But here's what they look like. They don't really have, like, the typical Vans, like, little like, line thing. But, of course, they have the little red Vans logo right there. And then also just a little tab. There's little, like, elastic band right there so you can pull the tongue up. Put your foot in. They are, like, canvas material. But they're, like, a thicker canvas material. I know that the Converse, like, high top shoes are also canvas but those are like really thin this is definitely like a thicker material the bottom is just rubber they're pretty bendy i guess but yeah there's nothing like super duper special about them like they're just a basic slip-on shoe so let's try these on and see how they look and then we will go outside and do the little montage that i always do in my shoe unboxing videos okay hopefully you can see me i just scooted back and i also just got a text let me attempt to put these on without using the floor. They're usually not this hard to put on. Because, you know, like, you usually put your sh your foot kind of in and then you use the floor to, like, push it on. You know what I mean? It's just a lot easier to put them on using the floor than using your hands. Okay, look at how beautiful they are. Can you see this? They are amazing. I know my socks look really weird because I have them all the way pulled up, but I promise my pants cover most of the sock. But, yes, here are the beautiful bands. Okay, now let's head outside to... Do my little shoe montage. Safety first though. You gotta protect those eyes and fill your stomach with yummy food. Okay, these glasses are honestly so weird. They like make everything so much more saturated than it actually is. It's like that color customizer filter that everyone uses on TikTok. That's what these glasses make everything look like. It's kind of dope actually. Here's what they look like on the top. Beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> Dang it, it doesn't work. I was gonna try showing you how it makes everything more saturated. Oh, I guess it kind of does. Like, makes everything darker, obviously, but like... 
Look at those flowers. Do you get what I mean? Hopefully you do. Okay, now we need to go do like a review part, but I don't know where I want to do it. In all my past videos, I have done my thoughts and reviews outside, but I'm just trying to think of where I want to do it. I guess we could probably do it out front. Why not? Although there is a lawnmower. I just can't decide. There's a lawnmower. I feel like it's going to be making a bunch of noise. You can't really hear it back here, so we'll just do it right here. Dex, you want to come? Come on, come here. Why aren't you coming? Okay, well, I'm closing the door <laughs> okay hopefully you can see come on yeah all right sit down okay so <coughs> So, my final thoughts on these shoes. I really, really like them, obviously. Actually, I mean, I guess it's not that obvious, but I really, really like them. I love that they're just like such a basic shoe that they can go with so many different things. Plus, they're just super easy to just slip on. Literally, it's in the name slip-ons. So, they're just really convenient to take with you on different places or if you just need a good shoe to slip on to go to the store or something. These are awesome. Another thing that I really love about them is that they have so many different colors and styles like honestly you can find the perfect style for you one thing that i would say about them is that since they're such a basic shoe they're not like the most comfortable ever not that they're uncomfortable but i wouldn't necessarily wear them around disneyland all day a good alternative though is that they do have they do have shoes with this thing called comfy kush and i was actually gonna get those in the first place but i didn't want to order them online and i was just like yeah i'll just get the regular ones so if you do have like super high arches or like your feet are really sensitive or stuff like that, I would recommend getting the comfy kush ones if you really want a good comfortable shoe. But if not, these will do just fine. I'm not entirely sure how long these are gonna last. I guess it really just depends on what you do with the shoe and how you take care of it and just, you know, how you wear them. I know that Vans is typically like a skating brand, but like not all their shoes are meant exactly for skating. Like they have shoes that are meant for skating. I think they have these exact same shoes, but like there's more rubber on the toe so that the canvas doesn't wear out. I don't know. It really just depends on what you're going to do with these shoes and how you take care of them, how often you wear them, but I think they probably could last for quite a while. Another thing that I really love about these is that they aren't expensive. They're a good shoe, but for a good price. I think these were about $50, which obviously like isn't the cheapest shoes ever, but they're not like $100 slip on you know which makes it really nice and really convenient if you want a few different pairs you know they're not too high of a price to buy overall i would give these a solid four and a half stars out of five the only reason i'm not giving them a full five is because they really don't have like any support or anything i feel like they're just like a super super basic insole but you know that's completely fine i mean you're getting what you pay for for 50 dollars. like this is a great shoe i would recommend these to a friend or to anyone that has been thinking about getting them yeah overall i think that they're just a great shoe i think that these will probably last a decent amount of time and if not they're only 50 dollars. but yeah overall i would give these shoes two big thumbs up and i will definitely be wearing them a bunch if you liked this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me or more videos like this i'm definitely gonna have more unboxing and review videos in the future so subscribe to me to see those also if you liked this video i have some more videos like it down in the description some more unboxings some more shoe videos more reviews stuff like that that you can go check out i love you all and i will see you guys next time Bye.